Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as we are returning to hell. One of the levels of hell. This is Hell of a Boss, season two, episode two. And we have seen the meeting of Blitz and Stolas and then the re-meeting of Blitz and Stolas. And both of them were incredibly sad. Not what I was expecting from this show, especially from the first episodes. But this one had layers and it had emotion that was so sad <laughs> and then Stolas got some gumption got some backbone laid boundaries with the wife soon to be ex-wife will that come back and bite them all in the ass we have to watch and find out and I'm so glad that you are here with me for this adventure so we're gonna jump right into it under the big cozy blanket I've been sipping water I'm rehydrating I'm rehydrating because it's much needed um you're gonna hit subscribe because I would greatly appreciate it and we're just we're just gonna get to it y'all in the great expanse of the nether, there exist boundless amounts of magnificent phenomena. But once every 1,000 years, our corner of reality is treated to an incredible sight. The tears of a forgotten colossus begin to fall. Tears made of the hopes and dreams of every living thing that never came to be. What appears to mortal beings as a meteor shower, we can see for what it is. Azathoth's tears. See it someday? Yes, dear, I promise. When the day comes, nothing will be able to keep me from being there with you. Oh god, he better be there with her. He better be there with her. <laughs> this better go well. Hey Dad. <gasps> Dad. Yes, I know. It will be there shortly. Of course they're being careful. Apparently, your mother can't exist somewhere two minutes without the entirety of her possession before she... What? No, I'm not turning her against you. you... This is going to be done before tonight, right? What? Oh, I hardly think so. Knowing your mother, this will take all weekend. Don't be gentle about it now. Break whatever you have to to get it all in there. But tonight, we're supposed to... Darling, can we not talk about this now? Your mother's being a real B-I-T-C-H. Well, how was I supposed to know you can spell? I've never seen you read. Mm, say something. Say something. Oh, I see a backpack. Is she going to run away from home? Oh. She even drew little pictures of their faces. Fuck! Oh, I mean, wow! A good throw, honey. I'm so proud of you. Well, why is Luna upset? Oh, Blitz finally talked to her about her attitude with clients. I, I just think some small tweaks might help you be more of a uh, people person, you know. If I'm so terrible, how about you just grow a pair and replace me? Okay. Well, maybe I. Maybe I might. What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's tough love time. So now you can go to your desk. <sighs> You're doing the right thing. Why is she there? Oh, she knows where the grimoire is. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. Take me to see the stars. Um, sir? The fuck? Luna? Oh yeah, you have a visitor. Where am I? Oh no, she's in Hollywood! I guess she needed to be a wee bit more specific. Shit, 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 what the fuck am I supposed to tell Stolas? Well, he seems to like you, sir. Maybe he would understand Okay, it. my dick is good, but it is not that good, Moxie. No, it's not. You want me to just call him up and be like, Hey, Stolas, oh, your daughter came by, took your book, and teleported off to who the fuck knows where? We have no way of getting either of them back, okay? Okay, good talk, bye. Wow, that actually went better than I thought. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, he, that was really was a phone. <laughs> yes. Why would she do this? How are we supposed to find her? Where would she go? <laughs> well, it reeks of urine and desperation, so. Ugh. L A. Now, first things first. If we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way, we're gonna need disguises. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. Wow! Fabulous! I'm afraid without my grimoire, my powers are just a tad limited in the human world. What, you can't memorize your fucking spells? Oh, your memory's so great? What's his phone number? Fuck you. <laughs> Little man, how about you check out this demo right here? Oh, wow, you made this? Thank you. Hey, 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 hold up a sec. You just gonna grab it and go? He said thank you. 20 bucks, man. He said thank you. We need money to pay this talented artist. You can just give it back, Mark. <gasps> I can't just give it back like it's worthless. It probably is. Sick demon costume, man. It's metal as fuck. And to your left, you'll see the home of one of those influencers who thinks they're hot shit because now they do TV shows. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so? Ah! Look, everyone! It's Hollywood star Brandon Rager! The fuck is a Brandon Rager? Oh, oh dear. It looks nothing like him. Where are you and your whorebag husband? You're my lovely little monster. <laughs> I... <laughs> Here you are, my fellow troubadour. Whatever, man. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, wanna buy some art? What? Yes! No! Get out of there, <laughs> Mr. Ragers, we've been looking for you everywhere. You were supposed to be on set an hour ago. We're taping tonight. Now hurry up and get in the car. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere with you, Jizz. This episode has taken Mr. Ragers. Now get in the Very car. Oh, churn and look at those boots. Excuse me, sir. I'm Mr. Rager's agent, and I don't believe you can just Oh, you are strong. Judy, go find Mia. We'll catch up soon. So where's the real Bren Ragers? What? Five what? I, I can't be on a sitcom. Ah! Whoa, I don't even know the fucking lines, idiot. Well, that's why God invented teleprompters. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And, uh, I, I, I can't do this. No, not again. Uh, I haven't performed since. He hasn't performed. Which is half as good as it is in bed. You'll leave them breathless. Action! Well, if it isn't our neighbor, Ronnie. You feel that earthquake earlier? That was just my wife rolling out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, and then that bitch hit her head on the way down and shattered her skull. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. Peter Pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I thought you could sniff her out. It's at the observatory! Oh, is he still going? You've gone and done it again! That's the fifth couch this year! 
<laughs> I can take him, Mr. Ronnie. I'd be happy to adopt old Uggy and give him the attention he needs. Yeah. Yeah, may may maybe you should adopt. <laughs> maybe you could adopt this one here. Quite a strong lad. He'll be perfect for whatever work you want to use him for. Yeah. No, I'm not looking for no ugly wonker. <laughs> a gift for the wife, huh? No problem. Oh. Selection of other hounds. Luna. That's just Luna. What a nightmare. Serious attitude problems. She'll be out of our hair next month when she ages out. Good riddance, if you ask me. She'll never amount to anything much. No, 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 you, you can't have her. She's mine and I love her. You gotta let me have the puppy. You just got us. Don't you touch her, you little anal fissure. <laughs> She's not fit to be a mother! I saw her doing lines of coke in her dressing room! <laughs> I think maybe you should- Ow! You can't have my baby, bitch! I'll never get rid of her! <laughs> oh no! Oh, they are live! Murder and Carnage live! Oh! Is that holy one? This has taken a turn. Now let's go find our daughters. What's with that, Mr. Abs? Okay. Hey. You okay? Can't believe I was so stupid. I spent all day looking for a place where I could see some dumb meteor shower. And all I get is this. Yeah, Smog's a bitch. <laughs> Your dad's really worried about you. Right, that's why you're here instead of him. He'd rather spend his time just screaming at my mum. Why does he hate her more than he loves me? Ooh. Oh. Sometimes it's not as simple as that. This kind of shit gets messy. Everybody's got issues, especially dads. That doesn't mean they don't care. If he cares, where is he? He's somewhere down there. <laughs> He's here? Looking for you. Try to cut your dad some slack. He may not always get it right, but he's trying. You ready to go? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, Luna, my sweet baby girl, I'm so sorry. I'll never replace you no matter what you do. You're good. <gasps> Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm just relieved you're okay. I just wanted to see the stars you promised. The stars? <gasps> Azathoth's tears. Oh, no, I am so... I know, Dad, it's okay. You're here now. What the fuck is that? My acting career. Those aren't the stars. Did you see that one? Now, where the fuck are Eminem? Oh, oh, art is heavy. March, mister. Yeah, so that episode went places I didn't think we were going. The whole Mox and Millie sideline. Okay, it was cute. But, okay, so why was Luna in a shelter? Or a pound? And just left there. So Blitz saved her? I don't know if he saved her or not. But why was she in the pound? And the whole storyline with Mia and her dad was so sad. We saw where that was kind of sort of going, but then that took twists and turns. And what was with that sick? And everyone thinking Blitz was that. No, what? <laughs> it was just off the wall. But I'm still in the same 
predicament that I was before. Whereas I don't, I don't know what our destination is. Do I need to know what the destination is? For me personally, yes, I would like to know where we're going so that I can enjoy the journey. And right now the journey's kind of all over the place. I'm thinking, and at least what I would like to see is I would like the destination being where IMP and Stolas and his daughter, they become a little family. That would be nice. Is that where we're going? I don't know. But so far it kind of looks like we're heading that way and that's what I would like to see. And does Blitz need to, or are we going to find out why he stopped performing? And will that influence the future? <laughs> I think this may be, and if I had the time, this is a series, or at least this season, is a good one to binge. So that when we're riding this wave, we're not going, what the, what the, what? You just ride it all the way through. But I don't have that time. I wish I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that just means I'm going to try to have to watch the next episode sooner. And please be there with me. I do appreciate it when we do this journey, all the journeys, together. Okay, so... Season two, episode two. Oh, it's the magic one, two, two. <laughs> I like when the seasons and the episodes line up that way. But thank you so much for joining with me, joining with me, being with me on this adventure. I'm going to go lie down and you're going to stretch and get something substantial to eat like toast. Because I always say toast is magical. And then come back and watch the next episode in the series. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.